You know, I told you I've been work in progress. When, when, when the Lord called me, he didn't show me some things. He started showing me as I moved along the path. So let me tell you my story. In the beginning, so when I opened the YouTube ministry, because of, of the background of the kind of churches I had gone to, where I would see pastors do things, they want glamour, they want to, things that are beautiful. I'm not saying beautiful things are bad, but you know, you know when someone is extravagant to show off. So my first YouTube, I'm like, eh, I think now because it is YouTube, it is online, I need to go to wooding and buy an expensive material. I need to, you know, go do, do this, do my hair, do all these things. They are not bad, but let me tell you the truth. I went and bought a material from Woody. It was expensive. It pained me. Just the material was 300000 Just the material. Now, that was the beginning. So as we move on, I'm like, now I think I need to get money and buy more. Let me tell you, money disappeared. Money disappeared. As money kept on disappearing and I couldn't get what I wanted, God told me, I have not called you to show off. I have not called you to go and, and uh, you know, so I thought I would buy more, buy more, and then maybe change after every video I change, something like that, because I've seen these things happen. I thought that is what is supposed to happen. God rebuked me. He, he made it, he, made, he first took away the money so that I didn't have the money. Then later, that is when he started teaching me that, Madam, that is not what I want. I want you to come in the simplicity and give my message. I don't want that pride because as soon as you know, first of all, it puts you under tension. Every time you're going to shoot, I need to look for this dress. I need to look for this money. I need to look for, you know, you don't even have the money. If you have the money, why not give it to the needy? Why not bless someone with that money? So God tells me, I want you to give my people the message. It's not about how you look. It is not about how you present. It is not about how many new clothes you have bought. How many times you have changed on that, on that YouTube. You know that instinct of, hey, I wore the other dress last time. I cannot repeat it. These are small, small things that are, are an equivalent of pride. We take it easily. We take it like it is normal. But it is pride. God revealed it to me that it is pride. It was pride at work in me. And later, God rebukes me now about my dress code. And then he rebukes me about uh, uh, artificial things, hair, golden, you know, putting on earrings, uh, makeup. Before, in the beginning, if you were to look at my first videos, you'll find makeup. I even had a makeup artist to do. <laughs> now, God, you've humbled me. In the middle, he tells me, I don't want makeup. I don't want hair. I don't want you to be, all the time when you're going for a sermon, you're conscious about what you're going to wear. Get something decent. Get on the pulpit and preach my message. Do not be diverted by what you're going to wear. Do not be diverted by what people think about you. Do not. So when I discover this, I'm like, oh my God. Even this makeup that I was doing was actually evil. All these things that I wanted to accessorize myself were actually evil. Today as I speak, when I'm going to preach, I go in my simplicity. I don't think about what I'm going to wear. I think about it there and then. I go to my wardrobe, look for something decent. I am not ashamed to come with a, a thing tied on my head. I am okay. I am comfortable because my role is to deliver the message. It is not to bring appearance. It is not to come and show off. As long as you try and show off, the devil replaces God's place in your heart. You know, and it becomes all about showing off. So God taught me. He put me in line and I suddenly changed. I no longer care. I come knowing that I am simple and presentable and I'm able to deliver the message. Praise God. The other thing that is happening in today's church is the choir. I've had an opportunity to be in choirs. Do you know what happens in some of the choirs? Especially churches in towns. You have a choir and what people do, they buy choir uniforms. Every Sunday the choir must change a uniform. What is that? That is bright. Every Sunday you say, no, 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 you wore the other uniform, you can't repeat it. Are you there to glorify, to show off or you're there for God? What is happening in the church today? You force the choir members to buy many uniforms. The ones who can't afford will exit the choir. I've been in a choir where that happened where we were told to buy uniforms almost every week. 